everyone. I'm glad that you're tuning in again and I want to talk a little bit more about judgment and decision making. So I'm Jay Post. I'm with BEAR, Outdoor Leadership for All. BEAR standing for Backcountry Education Adventure Research. And so for uh, judgment and decision making, one of the things that you may want to do is look at kind of uh, how are you going to teach quality decision making and judgment. You know, that's something that, you know, is, that, that, that can make you from being like, oh yeah, like I could be a leader, I could be a good programmer. So, wow, like you can really help transform people's lives. And so um, with that, we, one of the processes that you could do is tell, show, explain, and then kind of go into the transference. So you're going to tell people about what they are, you know, learning about and, and um, kind of going from there. Then you're going to show them, you know, give examples there right in front of them. And so, and then from there, you're going to explain, you know, and it's those whys and the really good background uh, stories that kind of help with how you do something. You know, this could be all for safety around a campfire, you know, how to use a knife properly in the kitchen, you know, how to uh, go across a, um, a river, you know, using, well, do we use these rocks? Do we use this log? Do we, uh, you know, go into the water? Like you go through that process because there's reasons why you would do any of these. And so explain those background steps to them. And then, you know, we can look at the um, Socratic method. And with that, you know, this kind of goes back to the, um, you know, ancient times. You know, we're looking at, at the Greeks and, and really we're, we're studying and analyzing and being critical all through the process. You know, that's something that's pretty important. We're still using it today. And so um, take your students through those steps, you know, tell, show, explain, and then you help them through the transference of that time into, well, this is how we can use it in other situations and help them see how it can affect their lives for it. And so that's where we could go with it. And then give them chances to practice these skills and take them through those decision-making processes and let them decide. And then good, bad, and different of the results, you talk about it later on. And help them evaluate through a debriefing process. And so, yeah, so I'm going to take someone about, hey, why do we want to create a fire that's small? You know, is that going to be effective? And, and you know, I could have made this to where it was a huge fire. And I could have put huge logs on it, but that's not what I needed. You know, I, I need to, you know, tell them about it. I need to show them what it is. And then from there, explain why I chose this fire versus the big, huge one and the steps that I took to get to that decision. And then let them make the decisions. Maybe it's that evening, maybe it's the next few evenings that they go through that process. And it's great because a lot of times our experiences are going to be a little bit longer and, and we do have chances for it. And then help them understand that transference of, you know, you evaluate a fire, how does that equate to you know, evaluating your path of, you know, you see a huge field. Do you go through the, the meadow and field? Do you go around it? What are your choices? What decision will you make? And so 
that's awesome that we can take one situation and have that transference to others. And then of course, can they take it home with them and use it in other situations? Wow, powerful, powerful stuff. So um, that was just a little blurb that I wanted to talk to you about. Um, study more about decision-making and judgment. And I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful evening. So work hard, play hard, stay safe, and continue to be awesome.